Above Kosla's pharmacy in the corner office, it's the video they've watched again and again. They're alerting Don, and he's going to come around the corner, and he's got him right there, tackles him. Ian Warren works with the man that made that tackle, 75-year-old Don Zimmerman. Saturday morning was exceptionally busy. Don, a pharmacist, was focused on his work when a masked man marched behind the counter with a bag in hand and went right for the cough syrup. Co-workers alerted Don, and he did not hesitate. He's trying to gouge my eyes, but I don't feel it because i got a case of adrenaline. It's a scuffle that kept going for several minutes. Pretty soon I said, is there any, any men out in the store? Well, three, three guys come back, and, and believe it or not, they're almost my age. So we've got the geriatric going against this young guy. More co-workers stepped in, and one even grabbed a bat. I can see her tapping this guy in the head because I'm yelling at him to relax. See, and he won't relax because he's spaced out on something. When deputies arrived, they handcuffed the man, a 21-year-old who allegedly said he wanted the liquid cough syrup containing codeine, a prescription opioid drug that's also used as a way to get high. Much of it has led to the opiate crisis that then leads to the heroin crisis and on down. So it's desperation. Street value, probably we've heard in the upwards of maybe four to five thousand dollars. When Don looks at the footage of the foiled robbery, he says he's grateful for the co-workers and customers who jumped in to help. And I'm just in awe of the community. I mean, how good they are to this store. This pharmacist says he doesn't regret fighting back. You know, I get a, a couple nicks, but, you know, it's, it's not like the guy was a heavyweight or something. In Pierce County, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.